Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you something that is quite interesting and I've seen for a couple of years now. So every single October when that time comes around, a spirit Halloween opens up in your town's abandoned storefront, wherever that may be. And they have some interesting things, they have interesting, you know, costumes and lights and all that kind of stuff related to Halloween. But I've always eyed this giant purple bulb, as they call it. I wondered, is it actually a black light bulb or just a gimmick? Well, it's interesting. As you can see, we have a R40 shaped bulb. It is not a reflector, but a reflector type. And it's 150 watts. It is incandescent. So here on the front of the packaging, of course, we have the Spirit Halloween logo there. Well, it's just called Spirit. I guess they don't put Spirit Halloween, but it's for Halloween. And a whole bunch of generic stuff, pictures of the bulb. They talk about it here. And it's uh, quite expensive. I had a coupon, so I got it on sale. I, uh, I think I paid like $4 for it or something. And let's open it up. Inside, we'll find it packaged quite well. Bubble wrap and some corrugated cardboard here to cushion itself. It is heavy, like an actual woods glass blacklight bulb. However, we'll see if it actually is. So again, this isn't a reflector bulb like the normal bulbs of this shape would be. It's just to put light everywhere in a unique design. At first glance, it looks like it has a pretty even coating of whatever it may be, woods glass or just a purple coloring. On the base, we have 120 volt, 150 watt China. No surprise there. And it seems to be made pretty well. There isn't any real inconsistencies. You can kind of see a a little bit of a weird bulge going on around there. So let's put it in to our socket here. I am sure this thing is going to get incredibly hot. So let's turn off the uh, lights here for the video and we'll turn this thing on. Well, it's definitely a thicker purple here at the top and thinner at the side. You can see the 150 watt incandescent filament in there. It is getting incredibly warm. You can see a heat shield here to prevent the heat from getting to the cement of the base. I'm gonna turn it off for a second because I want to try something new. So let's turn on the, uh, the lights here. Now, I had a viewer suggest something and it's something I've thought about for quite a long time and I'm sorry I don't forget I'm sorry I forgot the uh, viewer's name, but I have decided to pick up a lux meter. Now this is not a lumen meter, you can use lux to convert to lumens. I believe a lux is something like a lumen per square meter or something to that nature. You can correct me in the comments down below if I'm wrong, but I believe it's something like that. But this is a lux meter, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Of course, we'll end up with zero. Well, it should be. There's some le light leaking through this cover here. If we pop it off, and uh, we'll have to change our amount here. So you can see we have 1,140 some lux from the video lights here. So if we turn off our video lights, it also um, depends on how close and far away it is, as you can see, from said light source. So let me set this down. Currently with the light coming in through the window we have a lux of two. So we'll turn this on about one foot away from the meter and we have a lux of 49. 50, 51. So we're, we are one foot away from the meter here and uh, that's our lux. So let's turn it off. And of course we have two from the light coming in outside. So I suppose you can just minus, if I know how to do this at all, you can minus the two from the number we had here when it was closer to 50. So I guess that would be, you know, like 48 lumens since it's at 50 at the moment. 
Not lumens, I'm sorry. Lux. Anyway, enough of this meter. It doesn't really make anything glow like a black light would. I've tried with many different things and it doesn't seem to really have the same effect that a woods glass black light would. It kind of seems like it wants to, as you can see there, but I think it's also just the light, you know, being brighter at uh, that area. Anyway, it's a very interesting bulb. I've always wanted to pick one up, figure out if it's actually woods glass, and uh, share it with all of you. I'm a little disappointed that it isn't woods glass. It is very thick though. So I thought it would be, it would make the towel glow, which does glow ever so slightly underneath it, but it doesn't seem to do that. You know, let's try one last thing here, something that I have tried many times before, and that is the illumination of this Apple logo. It definitely glows under, under a black light. It's very faint. I mean, you get a little bit of it there, but again, I think that's because it's just shining directly at it. Yeah, so it's a coating. It's an interesting bulb. It's an interesting shape, and it's an interesting idea. But unfortunate that it is not what you would think it would be. Now, with that said, they definitely didn't deceive you in any way. It just says giant purple bulb. It doesn't say it's a black light bulb, so they're not, you know, lying to you about what it is. It's a giant purple bulb. Generic packaging, and that's certainly what it is. Anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this long video and uh, testing out our new Lux meter here. Also, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.